On the Throne was the last addition to the project, and I'm so grateful that we uh, decided to finish it. It was a song I started with Carrie Job. Um, she was doing a worship record, and uh, she was she came into town, and uh, I think for me it's hard not to write without thinking about our church body, and uh, I think that for for our church, which I think relates well with kind of any church, is you know we can walk through things, and as as a church we have walked through things, and that was the key uh, kind of to the verse is we're going to walk through fire and through trials and it's a key word through and um and uh every season we're in because seasons everything is a season uh, we'll press on because our god is on the throne so <clears throat> we had uh, quite a bit of the song established but we didn't have it finished um so luckily for us it didn't go on her project because we were able to revisit it for uh for this project so i was able to finish it with good friend jason ingram so Brought it back to these guys really quickly and brought it back to Gina right away to sing um, because it was kind of, it's not meant for a female vocal or a male vocal, but we just really felt like um, um, someone like Gina, Carrie, we really soar on it. So it, it immediately just kind of took hold and worked. And it's funny, most every record has a song at the end that comes in. And I don't know if your head's just clear or something, you write just. <laughs> strong, stronger songs or what, but uh, really believe in it. So, but I've seen Gene, I've seen you lead at church. Like so, we've done it so many times. It's not even released, but our church has been singing it. But when you sing it, there's something that just happens, and it's just phenomenal. So, um, talk about it. Tell us about it. <laughs> uh, well, I just remember when I came and heard it in the studio. I got a text from John just to come and help out with a demo for um, this song, and and I just had no idea what I was about to hear and how amazing it was and just right away I connected to it and even just singing it, I mean after hearing it just a couple times and then going in the studio to record the demo, like singing it in that moment, it, like I couldn't help but worship and just feel um, compelled to, even though it was just a demo and something that not very many people would hear, it was, it just felt so worshipful as I was recording it and I just couldn't help it. Just close my eyes and really think about the lyrics and and worship mm -hmm. in making that. So I loved being a part of that. It was awesome. So. Yeah, and I, I remember I remember in the studio because I think I, I, I don't know, I think I heard it before uh, Michael and, and you guys started working on it. And then like and then I heard it after and like I remember like I, I wasn't imagining like the floor on the floor and everything and it was just like, whoa. So at first it just like really grabbed me because it just how huge it sounded, but also I, I also think it's just like like I I mean I love this song so much because I think it's like it's also talking about identity that truth it's just the truth you know like for the Lord is you know He's greater you know it's all this stuff and like higher than the mountains that I face and I'm just like oh and I and I think like just those truths it's just man it's just like what what just builds me up you know and that's what the song does for me yeah it's yeah. awesome I mean if you've if you've watched anything that we've said over the past years or albums we've done, we always just kind of pounding this drum of declaring the greater realities of God. Yeah. And, because the greater realities of God will last forever and the momentary troubles will pass away. And uh, I think it's what makes worship so powerful. It's what makes the albums so powerful. And it's fun to do music and all that stuff, but everyone that sits here and everyone that sits behind this camera <clears throat> for this project is bought into the idea that when we declare these greater things, the Lord is faithful, He is able, He is higher than the mountains. It really kind of addresses our pain, it really addresses our, our weaknesses and says, we'll press on, we're gonna press on because he, he is on the throne, He'll be on the throne forever, where sickness, shame, these things feel like they're a bit on the throne of our lives for a, for a season, but that will pass. And um, We're just gonna keep pounding that drum and hope that those types of songs really just infiltrate the church uh, globally. So we sing about the Lord more than even ourselves, you know.